this is one variable string hanger this is the top plate with lug and this is the attachment for welding with the structure from where this spring support hangs now the spring is in locked condition this is hanger rod and this is turn buckle and that is the pipe clamp now the spring is compressed at preset load and these nuts are kept tight these nuts also after installation at site these nut will be loosened this nut will also be loosened and this nut and this nut also so that spring will move up and down this is the top cover welded to spring support body now let us remove this top cover this is the spring plate connected to this studs this side and this side and this is the fixed lug when spring is compressed that means pipe comes down this plate along with spring moves down and when pipe comes up this plate comes up so this spring plate has come out because the spring was under compression this is the spring plate this is the spring plate and this is hanger rod this is hanger rod when pipe comes down then this spring plate compresses the spring like this and when pipe moves up then spring is loosen like this at the end of spring plate turn buckle is there mount turn buckle this is the hanger rod and this is the turn buckle now turn buckle is connected to the hanger rod now connect the i rod this is i rod connected to turn buckle so in turn buckle about 75 mm gap is there in this gap height of spring support can be adjusted this is i bolt and with the i bolt pipe clamp is mounted and pipe is connected with this pipe clamp so this is the entire set of variable spring hanger this is pipe clamp this is i rod this is turn buckle having adjustment provision of about 75 mm 
this is hanger rod this is variable spring hanger and this is the spring plate now this is i rod this is turn buckle and this is hanger rod in vertical position let us see how height adjustment can be done the turn buckle is having one end left hand threading and other end right hand threading when we rotate the turn buckle clockwise height between spring hanger and pipe reduces now both the rod has come closer inside turn buckle so at this position this is the shortest height between spring hanger and pipe now we will rotate the turn buckle anti clockwise now the gap between two rods inside turn buckle is increasing at this position height between spring hanger and pipe is maximum in this way we can adjust the height between spring hanger and pipe now i am removing the spring plate and hanger rod and the spring is this spring also comes out like this this is the spring and this is the casing of spring support so now insert the spring like this then insert spring plate like this this is the spring support finally the spring has been opened this is the top plate now again i am placing the top plate like this then spring has to be compressed to the preset load then this side nut and this side nut has to be tightened this is variable spring hanger hangs from top this is the spring plate and this is bottom spring support variable type bottom spring support pipe shoe rest over this load flange and this is the spring plate functionally both these are same when this spring plate or this spring plate is compressed then spring effort will be more and when this spring plate or this spring plate comes up that means pipe have upward movement then spring will provide less effort